is voor jou. Uh, ik ben Julie en ik wil graag een uh, matje eigenlijk. Een mallet. Een mallet, kort aan de zijkant en een pony. Ja, yeah. short on the sides, short on top. En uh, long on the back. Hoe je turnt, zodat ik zie hoe je haar is nu. Is de eerste keer dat je een model voor me bent? En je bent een of play? Yes. Oké, okay. dat is nice. Dat is een nice model, als ik je you je bent een of play. <laughs> Oké, okay, let's start. Yes. Dat kan een aantal pakken. Wat vind je een mooie kleur? Ik heb ze net allemaal gestreken. Had iemand namelijk mijn kamer rood, geel. Paars. Waarom zijn we nooit deze pakken? Hallo, friends on YouTube. Welkom terug. Het is de eerste keer dat je voor me bent. Dus nu, kom je de haar. De haar, natuurlijk. En dan start je put on protection. Doe dit cut met uh, hot razor of ergo. Because I don't want to damage the hair. Wow, what a warm to come off. Like a warm, you think? Yeah, hard to fit. Yeah. Now she chose the purple cape. So put a cape on her. And the neck paper. It's not necessary, but when you want to keep the capes clean. And to want it nice, you do this. I also like this look. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's also nice to see the white in contrast to the purple. Gonna wet the hair. Ja. Yeah. Ze oh. heeft veel Ik ga brush het met de brush van Olivia Garden. Een ding van dit is dat het niet pull haar is. En we beginnen met de eerste lijn. Ik ga de haar op. On the top of the skull and then shorten it. Spannend. Yeah, look like at <laughs> it. Take the hairs high. And I think she can donate this, this so I will keep it, put it by my other hair that I always sent to the foundations that do something with it. Nice. Mag je hem even zelf vasthouden hier? Ik heb een stukje van. Take a rubber band and skew the hair. And just start by taking this off. Exciting? Yes. Ooh. The nice thing of the hot razor is it doesn't damage the hair. This came off. <laughs> Dead. No, not yet. <laughs> also nice is when you do it this way, and even when she now decides not to go for short, on a turner you can almost see nothing of what I did. So you don't see it even laying on it because the way of cutting brings an ultra soft line, so you don't see the, the, the way of cutting. And the lines of cutting. Mm. 
Now she showed me some photos of what she liked. So I know what she likes. So don't create hard lines on the sides. Just leaving them soft. But to create a mullet I have to work up. So I take a line from the chin line up to under the crown area and then work to there. First line is this line. Take a moon shape, take the hairs to the front. And make a real short line. But not a hard line. Keep the line flowing. And I love to see your wonderful ears. They are ultra nice and small. She wants something of a fringe, but not too much because here's a jumpy area, so I have to take care of that. So I take the eyebrow line as a guideline. I just gently go in. Take a new line on it. Pull it to the front. And work on the same line of cutting as I did on the previous line. So create the same lines all over again. You can see this. Come at the area at the back. Take the hairs to the front again, lay them in the same line of cutting, go in and just let the knife do the work. The nice thing of again the soft lines I create now is when she laid them back, you don't even see them laying because she has now a short hair on the sides, but she has still a wonderful hairstyle. Coming at the area about uh, three centimeters, about uh, a thumb on the back, taking it to the front, take it again on the line of cutting, pull it on that, go in. And gently work down. Now come and work out the side a bit. Mos van mij denk ik wel redelijk kort aan de zijkant. Ja, komt er kort in. Hoor je? Ja. You can hear the hissing of the blade. Sowieso, je ziet me kort haar wel mooi bij mij zijn. Ja, ik kan ja, ook ja. voor kort haar. Ik heb nooit eerder zo kort haar gehad. Maar staat je wel heel mooi. Ik ruik het ook een beetje. Ja, klopt. Only this hair is a take away with a scissor. Go in. Because the knife is hot, cannot get to it. Check. So only I take this part down, take my large Kyoto scissor. So this is my only short line. Let it do with the scissor. So now I can go to the other side. Coming to her left side, again take a moon shape till I get on the ear. Lay all the hair aside. Knowing how I did the other side, go in, gently go into the flow of her natural lines because I can see the fall of the lines. Get to work to this line. 
So knowing that it ends about here. Take some air on, start again on the same line, pull in there to the front, lay it on the line of cutting. And the leuke van YouTube is dat je zelf ook bewust wordt van wat je doet. Ja. Want normaal gesproken doe je dit gewoon in een flow. En nu kun je dat gewoon ja, helemaal uitleggen, dus dat is gewoon leuk. Coming to my last line. And again, also on this side, when I lay the hairs down, you don't see the line of cutting. Correcting the side beard. Free the beautiful ear again. And ears are the most wonderful shape there is because when you have the inner ear, this shape, show you that. This shape is what you were when you were two and a half months old, your mom. So that's your original shape of your fetus. Wow. Yeah, sexy. So everybody is also unique on their ears. Before I start on the mullet, I go first clean this up. Again, lay the hairs softly down. Take my large Kiona scissor and only take this part off. Going to the front, turn it so you can see a bit more. Knowing that the fall of her hair goes this way, take away a bit of the water, go in the opposite lines, find the connection that I did. In the previous cut. And a nice thing for those who love uh, fringes you, and you do it with a hot tool, you never get um, irritation of the skin because when you do it with a normal scissor, the ends will be a bit damaged and they will always irritate your skin. This will keep a soft end, cannot grow in because it's sealed. So once there were a lot of fringes, a lot of people who would wear this and they had all red spots on the front because they're young, the, uh, the skin is still open for things. So when you do it with a hot tool, it stays closed. Oh, now can we go to the back and make a nice uh, mullet of it. Now the ends are a bit dry, so I have to take care of that. To create a mullet, I go to the side and pin the hairs in a natural fall. Sorry, first line aside. Knowing where I want to go, I just get in this and I need some length to get the contrast. So I start on the line of her face. So I lay it in the same line as I did all, all the other lines. Always using the natural shapes into a hairstyle. Take some more hair. Pull it on the same line. 
turn up bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Pull it in the natural lines of a skull. So here I start creating that mullet. See the contrast between the short hair and the long hair. And I work till I get on the center. Every time pulling in the same line. Now you see that I have a straight line down, so it looks more really like a mullet. Do this also on the other side. Whew, you snap the foot. Look, I remember me then. Thank you all. First, take the first line. Set the other hairs aside. Take the first line, take it to the front, watch at the natural lines of a skull, go in, straight down. Take a new line, take it to the side. Watch it, a wonderful skull. Take the facial lines into the hairstyle. Do this over and over again. Just let the hair fall into your fingers till you feel what the previous line has been cut. Just go straight down. So, so you get the feeling of straight hanging down. So that skips that mullet effect. Coming to the center on the back. Take the hairs on the skull bone. Take only that hair that lays under it. Pull it down and take away the dry ends. Lay the upper hair over it and do the same thing. Coming to the parts on the side, give it a slight rounding, not too much because the mullet has a strong baseline. Do this of course on both sides. Ik verras hoor als iemand uh, zegt ik wil dit of ik wil dat. Yeah. Dus als je vriendinnen hebt die iets willen, laat ze killen. Ja, yeah, is goed. Now the rest has to stay long because otherwise it's not a mullet. So you have the difference between the upper hairs that are short and the rest is just hanging down and being long. So that gives the mullet effect. In the summer she can always go shorter because she has also a wonderful skull line where to work in bobs and that kind of things because she has always a lot of volume by the skull shapes and so her wonderful natural shapes will always be in a wonderful hairstyle. So now I can dry the hair. Now to create this effect I use uh, from Keune a straight cream. It's also nursing the hairs. Dat moet ik ook gaan aanschaffen, denk ik. Zo. Hoef niet per se. Het ligt er aan mijn beeldje te dragen. 
Beetje wild is wel leuk. Ja, dan krijg je het mooie klei pakken. Klei? Ja. ja. Want het geeft de meest wilde effect. En als je een wild effect eraan wil geven, dan moet je het eigenlijk gewoon draaien met je haar. Het is goed voor je hoofdtijd ook. Die stimuleert de bloeding van de hoofdtijd ook. Het leuke van korte kapsels is dat je veel meer met kleuren zo kunt werken. En het wordt vlugger uit. Dus ja. De lange haar zit je er heel lang aan vast. Ja, precies. Zeker als je naar lichtere kleuren gaat, dan, dan duurt het best lang voordat ze helemaal uit zijn. Zo van blow drying. Ik kan ook blow my own hair. But... Now she, she loves to have wild hair. So I use the product uh, in a paste uh, shape so it will be wild. Using this product from the blend line. It's a bit fiber. You can make a lot of roughness <laughs> with it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And the nice thing of the product is you can even style through your hair, through the days. Cool. Because a lot of boys and girls love to touch their own hairs. Or just go in and just do something crazy with it. Now this is your new hairstyle. Thank you for being my model for the first time. Thank you for watching. Thank you too. <laughs> You're more than welcome, love. Uh, you may turn so that you can see your hair now. And we make photos of it. Thank you very much. Nice. Uh, ik ben Julie en ik wil graag een uh, matje eigenlijk. Een mullet. Een mullet, kort aan de zijkant en een pony. Ja, yeah. short on the sides, short on top. And, uh, and long, long on, the on the back. Will you turn so that you can see how your hair is now? It's the first time you model for me. Are you a friend of Blood? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. That's a nice smile when I told you you're a friend of Blood. <laughs> <laughs>